So I've been messing around and doing a lot of different audio editing and uh, playing around with VSTs and whatnot. And I've realized that a, a lot of the effects that are being applied, um, you have to have so many different plugins and whatnot that they could all actually be condensed down into one single plugin, the, ma the vast majority of the, of the effects that you'll ever need or use. And so what do I mean by that? So first we have to look at the different uh, visualizations of music that we have. So this is the one visualization here that most people are probably familiar with where you have the waveform. Um, this is usually, okay yeah, so we have the waveform. Then we have this other one which people are probably familiar with which is the spectrum and this shows the, uh, the frequencies here and how loud each of the frequencies are at any given slice in time. So one way we can visualize this is instead of having this one 2D view and then this other 2D view because they're really representing the same thing we can look at this in 3D so where we have this the waveform view here on this axis and then with the uh, frequency view here on this plane and to complete the 3D cube it would still be like if we spun this around to the other side it's still the waveform on this side and the frequency view on this side and so you can kind of see how like if um, if I were playing this then this would slowly reveal itself because you would need to see these new slices that show the frequencies at any given point in time um, but what's really neat is okay so we have those uh, two planes so what's the, the third plane and the third plane would be the spectrograph. So the spectrograph, here we have time on one side, and then we have how loud each individual frequencies are. And the spectrograph is a lot like a topographical map, where it's looking down on top of A mountain range where you have like the red is the higher the, of the mountain that it is and green is the, the lower that it is. The spectrograph is very similar here where the red is where it's loud and the green is where it's lower. And so combining these three views into 3D will give us something like this and as we like played audio it would sort of look like um, this view where it slowly like reveals itself over time okay so having this visualization how can we then combine all of the effects into one plugin so If you remember from math class, whenever you're transforming anything, um, you have like the different ways you can transform things on a, uh, a 2D plane. So like, you can, uh, Like squash things down, stretch them out, move them around, 
Um, we can create copies and whatnot. Um, and these basic transformations that you have could be applied to any any side of this graph. And so one thing that would help to understand is like which types of effects you generally apply in these different graphs. So like in this view here, this is usually where you're like, um, if you're adjusting the volume or the gain, that's changing how high and low overall all of these are. When you're doing compression, that's like, that would be on this view of the audio where um, you're making the peaks of it shorter and the valleys of it higher or the high points lower and the, the lower points higher uh, depending on what's going on with the sound. Um, this is also where you have things like delay where you're uh, say copying and pasting the audio so you hear it repeated or reverb where you're copying and pasting it but it's sort of the volume of it changes as well so that it gives you that echoey effect and so those types of effects you apply again with just basic transformations in this view then you go over to this view this view here usually doing things like EQ um, and so where you're selecting various um, parts of the frequency spectrum making them louder or quieter again stretching them out reducing them down um, where you're like doing stuff with harmonics where you're sort of taking a certain note and copying and pasting it over at higher frequencies and these are all sort of like similar transformations that you do and then you have this top view here the spectrogram uh, this view here this is like where something like Melodyne or Autotune goes where you're seeing how the frequencies change over time and again you're doing similar transformations where you're moving things around stretching things out to make someone's voice say be in tune while they're singing but in this view you will also do things um, like a common thing you'll do is uh, sound isolation or uh, sound removal where you'll like say you'll take the noise of a fan and you'll be able to see it as a line on this so you can isolate that frequency and take it out just like how you isolate and take out frequencies in this view and so some things are kind of shared across the different views um, but in general I believe you could make one plugin that would do like 90% of the stuff that all of the various plugins do and have it in one cohesive way that's easy to understand.